Hello friends, this is Bill Cochran of the band Reverend E and the Vagrants on KXNM 88.7 on your FM radio dial, the voice of Central New Mexico. I will be your host for the Sounds of Central New Mexico, a show that features the musical talents of the artists of our region. Tonight we are showcasing Alchemy, a New Mexico duo featuring Bob Danielson and Nancy Halbrick. Both Bob and Nancy are songwriters, both individually and together, and they've been in the music business their entire lives and have received many awards and accolades for their music. They are a delightful couple with a lot of great music. Here is Alchemy.
Nancy, that was a nice song. What was that? That song is called That Darn Sun. And it was written about New Mexico and how much we like it here. Oh, that's great. And Bob, what's we going to hear next? We're going to hear Blues 2, which was nominated for a New Mexico Music Award. And here it is. Childhood of my mind My thoughts have traveled back there many times I just can't leave those good old places behind Jesus, I am alone Singing the blues and holding my Showed 
sitting here with the band right now and Nancy tell us about the band a little bit. Well I'm Nancy Hobrick. I play keyboards and sing and Bob Danielson who's the other member of Alchemy plays drums and sings. We've had separate musical careers up until we moved to Albuquerque and it's been working out really well for us. We've gotten four New Mexico Music Award nominations and we are looking for a guitarist to join us. And Bob, why don't you tell us about you guys? Well, as for myself, I'll just say you can go to the website and look up our bios, or my bio and Nancy's. I'll tell you briefly, I've been making my living since my mid-twenties, exclusively at playing music as a drummer, and I've worked with some pretty accomplished people. They've been Grammy nominees and Grammy winners. I played a lot of Top 40 music, for a long, long, long time, but we always included some original music. Now, as time has gone on, um, it's at the point where Bob and I are focused almost exclusively on original music with a few cover tunes. Well, I find when I write, I'm usually inspired by philosophical themes. When I say write, it's always been collaborative. But I'll, I'll be writing lyrics, I'll be suggesting harmonies, instrumental parts, melodies. I consider the songwriting I've done and what we work on in the band is true stories set to music. That's what inspires me. Um, sometimes the ideas just seem to drop out of the sky, but that's kind of the magical nature of it. I've always liked to write and then I started playing piano by ear when I was four, maybe. And so it seemed at some point to express my feelings to put those two together. And I've had a huge amount of lessons and background in classical music. And I've always loved pop, rock, dance music. So I'm inspired by all that music and I love all of it. Were either one of you inspired by a particular artist or? a style or something like that? Yes. I can speak to that, first of all, because um, we have a lot of respect for classical music. You will not hear references to Bach or Beethoven or 20th century symphonic music, but we get a lot of ideas or inspiration from what we would call 20th century symphonic music. That would be Stravinsky, Aaron Copland, that gets us gets excited. And then we'll be listening to some of the latest pop songs. And we have an interest in that, too. Well, you took Stravinsky from me, because if I were on a desert island, <laughs> I've always said, if I could just have Stravinsky's Rite of Spring that I could listen to, I would have enough ideas to write music for the rest of my life. But I love Jimi Hendrix, for example. So there's a wide range of music that I really am inspired by. Now, I'm wondering, uh, where could our listeners come hear you guys play? Well, we've recently been approached by places we've played at already, and now they're reaching out to us again. To say it quickly, New Mexico State Fair, they're asking us if we're interested in playing on the pavilion stage. Angel Fire has a summer concert series, and we're considering a selection of dates there. Ski Santa Fe, summer series of music. And finally, locally, there's an original venue which has asked us to share the bill with another group, and we like that kind of stuff. That's in the works for May. If you go to our website, you'll find the details of these things when they are finalized and set on paper. Well, that's terrific. 
And then also our listeners will probably be interested in obtaining some of your music. And how could they go about doing that? We're on iTunes, Spotify, CD Baby, and the best place, I think, to go directly to our featured pages is, again, on our website, alchemylab.com, because there are direct links to the featured pages on iTunes, Spotify, and CD Baby, and you can listen um, or buy a CD or stream a single. And, uh, Bob, what are we going to hear next? We're going to hear one of the recent singles that we just released, and it's called Double Sunday. And this is an example of what we sound like when we have a guitar player in the band. And you are looking for a guitar player, correct? Yes, sir. That could be someone who considers himself a lead guitarist or rhythm guitarist or both. If you play that style and it's rock style, we'd like to hear from you. Okay, and here is Double Sunday.
Nancy, what are we going to end the show with? This song is called Highway One. It was written about the Pacific Coast Highway, and it also won a New Mexico Music Awards nomination. We just heard Alchemy, a talented central New Mexico band. For more information on Alchemy, please go to our website, kxnm.org, and navigate to the sounds of central New Mexico and then to the artist pages. Our website's a great resource for information about central New Mexico and the artists featured on our show. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's program. I am Bill Cochran. 
and am asking you to tune in next week. Sounds of Central New Mexico is broadcast Friday nights at 9 p.m. and rebroadcast Tuesday nights at 6.30 p.m. And for now, 